so the frost pretty much got everything in the last two nights. Um, I'm going to take and start cutting off my gourds and then leaving them to dry like I do my other gourds because I'm just not really sure. I've got little ones, I've got big ones, I've got all kinds, but pretty much the frost is killing everything and taking the vines down. Um, you can see here that the frost, oh that one's mushy and that one's mushy, which I knew they were green. Um, so I didn't know if they'd make it. And see this one here is mushy. I don't know if the loof inside will be any good, but I'll take them and dry them and then get all these, this stuff put up and we'll see. See how it goes. I'm hoping that the loofah inside, if I just leave them to dry like I do any other gourd, I'm hoping that the gourd will make the loofah inside. I, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'll get to that in due time. I've got this. Um, for some reason, it has not gotten my lavender at all. My thyme is still going, but it's pretty much just the gourds that it, that the frost got. So, yeah, in one foul swoop. And then over here, we have a small burn pile that I have to have because there's nails in it. And we cleaned up that wood thing, so, um, or the new horse stall. This is all the wood from that new horse stall. It'll have to be burnt one more time at a later date. So, at least it's not huge like it was out here. It's just right there, and hopefully that's all we're going to have. So, um, I'm going to go over and check my strawberries. Oh, my gosh. Even got the leaves to the trees. It's been down below freezing the last two or three nights. So, and actually the strawberries look really good. Um, it's almost like they like the cold weather. I don't know what that is. But, um, yeah, they're doing really well. That's kind of amazing. I don't know. I don't know if strawberries are cold weather. I got, I'm after a weed here. That little viney stuff gets in there. But, uh, anyway, so it looks like these guys are doing really well. Even the ones that I transplanted are greening up and doing their thing. Woohoo. So, all right. Um, I don't know. The gourds seem to be the only thing that really got the frost. Um, I think later today, the day is about gone, as you can tell, the sun is high in the sky, it's about 4 o'clock, and I need to get some other things done, we just got the two projects done that had to be done today, because I think the guys are going to open tomorrow, so, yes, this needs to be done, um, I'm gonna push this back over, and it actually, if the north wind will stop blowing, it should go up against that teapot. Um, I don't know how long it'll last like that, but it is what it is. It still had flowers on it when the frost came. You can see there it had yellow flowers everywhere. But boy, the frost killed that out in no time. So I'll probably come through here and harvest all of these and dry them like I do my regular gourds and see how it does. Oh no, even my spinach. It really... the, the cold really got this but it's supposed to be a perennial or actually a self-sowing annual which means that it'll drop its own seeds so I'm hoping those seeds go back the basil I had already harvested a lot of it off so yeah it pretty much got everything the frost was horrible um the one thing I'll tell you it never my green onions I know onions 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 so I have a ton of onions still um and I'm sure that it didn't really get the mint if you look the mint just thinks this is spring look at that it just says oh it's spring so um certain things that are warm weather things the frost did get and other things it didn't the trees are pretty much bare so pretty sure winter's setting in but i'm gonna go back to the house and get some nippers and maybe harvest all that I can find on those gourds. We'll see if I get that done today. Might be tomorrow, but we'll see. 